In this class we will see how to edit surfaces, an important procedure for creating more complex models, and which expands the possibilities of work. First open the available file and see that we have several surfaces that will be used for the presentation of commands. Let's start with the command surf fillet, accessed in the surface tab, edit panel, which creates a surface with agreement between two existing surfaces. In the command line we have some possibilities, being able to select a surface for rounding or access the radius configuration. It is also possible to configure such that, after rounding, the surf fillet command does not trim surfaces. In our case, we type R for the radius option and hit enter. We type 5 and hit enter again. Next, we click on the first and second surface whose edge will be rounded. Note. Note that we are still in the editing process, so if we want to change the radius, simply access your option by typing R and pressing enter to enter another value. We finish by typing enter to exit the command. You see, we created a rounded surface with the aid of the fillet command. We will now see the surf trim, accessed in the surface tab, the edit panel, which trembles the meeting region between two surfaces. We click on the surface to be trimmed to select it and confirm by pressing enter. We select the surface that will be used as a cutting element by clicking on it, and we confirm by pressing enter. To conclude, we click with the left mouse button on the part of the surface to be trimmed and press enter to exit the command. You see, we have the surface trimmed easily. Next, let's look at the command surf on trim. Also accessed in the tab surface, panel edit, which undoes the action of trim surface performed by the command surf trim. Note that on the command line we have two options, you can select edges or the surface itself. We enter S for the surface selection option and press enter to confirm. Then we click with the left button of the mouse on the surface that was trimmed. We finish by typing enter and see that the trimming action has been undone. Now let's look at the command surf extend, which lengthens the surface at a specified distance and lies in the surface tab, edit panel. We select the edge of the surface to be extended by clicking on it. We hit enter to confirm. We enter the value to be extended, in this case 10, and confirm by typing enter. You see, we have an easily extended surface. Now let's look at the command surf sculpt which breaks and combines a set of surfaces or meshes that completely surround the volume to create a solid 3D. In the Surface tab, Edit Panel, we trigger Surf Sculpt. We select the surfaces and press Enter. You see, we've created a solid by trimming and matching surfaces. We finish this class, where we present some commands for editing surfaces, which are essential in editing models of greater geometric complexity.